President George Herbert Walker Bush called Dr. Fauci a hero, and we all subscribe to that. And it's because, you know, he loves what he does. He really, truly does. He is a rare, rare gem. He cares about everyone, every patient individually, and millions who will never know his name. In all my years of dealing with various scientists and leaders, Tony is one of the most generous and brilliant people I have met. Honestly, I would say to the people in this audience, really, uh, who are living or battling or fighting or doing research into cancer, it, it can happen. I am living proof that it happens, that science works, and that if you're given the right resources and you have the kind of leadership you get from a guy named Tony Fauci, it all can, it can all can change. He's known clearly for his work on HIV and saving millions and millions of lives throughout the world. But his work has really gone well beyond HIV, whether it's any crisis on Ebola or SARS or immunosuppression or any of the work that impact cancer. There is not one life or one disease that is not impacted by his work. When I came to Congress, my first statement on the floor was, I've come here to fight HIV and AIDS. When I first had the opportunity to question Dr. Fauci, I challenged him. I said to Dr. Fauci, if your child had, was HIV infected and you knew there was this drug that was approved for adults, would you give it to your child? And he said yes. That was very, very courageous of him. There was word of this place called the NIH and this doctor called Tony Fauci that was offering the only hope that there was out there to be offered to. So in 1990, I'd say, I started my first clinical trial under Dr. Fauci. What I saw back then as a legend was just leadership. The man was a leader. It's not often that you can say that one man made that kind of a difference, but Nothing's proved me wrong in 30 years. Where am I today after my diagnosis in 1988? Uh, three weeks ago, I turned 60. And I've been HIV positive 30 years now, as long as a half of my life. Uh, I was given a gift of 28 years and four months by, in many ways, Dr. Fauci. Tony Fauci is an incredibly trusted voice, whether you're sitting watching your TV at home or you're a member of the United States legislature or executive branch, listening to his thoughtful way he is approaching whatever issue it is. It would be hard to duplicate the scientific greatness, the experience over the years, and the translation that he has made uh, from one uh, disease to another. More than the vision he had for science that went above, above and beyond the work he did in HIV AIDS was his humanity. And the, the most incredible example I have is a couple of years ago when the Ebola crisis hit. In the Ebola issue and when we were fighting and in that crisis, Tony Fauci was a clinician, a researcher, and a policymaker. And I'm not sure I know anyone who was able to serve all of those roles. Additionally, doing all of that, Tony did the incredibly hard job of being the lead physician for a patient that came through. We hadn't treated patients in the United States who were suffering from Ebola. I'm telling you, the moment that got it for me, and I'm like, I, I, I was speechless, was when that nurse walked out of that hospital. People across this country were petrified. They were afraid to take the subway. They were afraid to do anything. And that nurse walked out of that hospital and Dr. Fauci walked up and hugged her. It, it was like, poof. He demystified it. He made no one afraid of it anymore. He's extraordinary, a visionary, a leader and a friend. The world is a much better place thanks to him. To discuss why Tony Fauci deserves this honor would take days, weeks, months, maybe years. 
He's a hero, he's selfless, he's impacted the world, he's impacted world health, public health. His commitment has had a profound impact to millions and millions of people already and will for years to come. What do I think is next for Tony? I've been thinking that for years. He loves what he does. He has broadened what he does to such a, a, a place that he doesn't need to expand his uh, title because he's expanded his turf. And to meet a severe and urgent crisis abroad tonight, I propose the emergency plan for AIDS relief, a work of mercy beyond all current international efforts to help the people of Africa. Congratulations to my friend, Dr. Tony Fauci, on receiving the Friends of Cancer Research Leadership Award. Given his track record on HIV AIDS relief, I'm not surprised to learn that Tony has also contributed to major breakthroughs in cancer research. When my administration launched the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief Program, we relied on Tony's research and expertise to put together an effective strategy. PEPFAR has saved millions of lives, and he was one of the principal architects. Laura and I applaud Tony's devotion to advancing cancer research, and we send our best wishes. Tony, as a friend and a colleague, congratulations. Tony, you're an inspiration to the world, but you are a close friend and you inspire me. Dr. Fauci, congratulations. Yet again, another award, this one very special from the Friends of Cancer Research. How wonderful that they have recognized the connection between your work and cancer research and the power to cure. I was a scared 28-year-old kid, scared with a million other scared 28-year-old kids. And this man was the light in the, in the dark. He was the oasis in the desert. I know it's a lot to put on one guy, but it's true. Because that's what a leader does. That's what a visionary leader does. He offers hope, and he offered me hope.